There's no escape for me now. Everyone's dead, the city's destroyed, and what's left is crawling with BTs. They're everywhere. Where's your keepo? But I was able to sneak away and reach out to you. This might be our last chance to talk like this. I just wanted you to know that I'm safe. For now. Promise me you'll keep building the chiral network. It's our only hope for the future. It's my only hope for freedom. That's his sister, by the way. And when you've finished, we can go back east together. Amelie, your keeper, where is it? Sam, I'll be waiting for you on the beach. All right, fine, no worries. It's good to see you, buddy. Kipu, I think, is the necklace, right? Hmm. Mail received from Philip North. Thanks for saving our buddy. Okay. Uh, yeah, you, I hope you have a good day as well. Uh, we don't need to do any of this, I don't think. We can fabricate equipment up above. Whoa. Juicy lump beef broth. Thanks for the sub, man. That's awesome. Two months. Thanks for the support. Back off. Back off! Don't do it. Did we... Did we just see him get... Shot? some new info you should hear recently recovered thanks to your efforts to expand the chiral network it um it concerns bbs okay I dug this up on my own just to be clear no one ordered me to look and if anyone asks put it all on me no need for you to deal with any blowback you were just listening to me ramble on the wire okay anyway it this looks one like of the um wasn't the first to bring back bb tech Metal Gear Solid was a kind of, of links, a codec. Terrorists opposed to UCA expansion, according to the records. They started using them about three years ago. Right around the time Bridges One was putting plans in place to head west. Seems these separatists were having trouble with BTs too. And figured that if they could track them, they might be able to steer them into our path. When Bridges caught wind of this, the decision was made to fight fire with fire, to start using BBs as a countermeasure. It's possible yours was commissioned for that very purpose, a fact I think someone may have tried to conceal, judging by the absence of BB-28 service record. I always found it strange that we were so willing to utilize technology we barely understood. Now we know why. We've been aping methods and techniques employed by others from the start. There's more you should know. It's about the original Bridge Baby experiments. Piecing together what little I could find, it looks like they started around the time of the Death Stranding. They were conducted on the island of Manhattan off the East Coast, which was completely and utterly obliterated by what was almost certainly a void out. Back then, these experiments had the full support and approval of the American government. It's all just guesswork, but I suspect the BB program was conceived to help gain a better understanding of the nature of the Death Stranding. Hmm. However, due to ethical and safety concerns, public opinion was strongly against the program. Still, they pressed on, and in their desperation to make sense of the greatest disaster of their age, I think they caused another. 
I should also mention that the president himself was killed in the blast. Oh. It was after his death, when he was succeeded by then Vice President Strand, that the experiments were suspended by executive decree. Documents were shredded, facilities were decommissioned, and every effort was made to pretend that BBs had never even existed. Which begs the question how some random separatist group was capable of resurrecting the tech decades later. I'll let you know if I turn up anything enlightening. Sam, check the delivery terminal and review the list of orders. So that kind of makes sense. Uh, why we've been seeing Mads Mikkelsen's character um, trying to keep the BB away if the separatists were the ones that resurrected the tech and first started using it then maybe he's good who knows the people of Mountain Knot City have a pressing problem that needs to be addressed a tar-like substance has been bubbling up from beneath the ground near them. They're seeing more of it by the minute, and it won't be long before it spreads into the city. There have already been reports of ejecta inside the outer walls. If nothing is done, the whole city might be swallowed by a sea of tar in the near future. There's an order from Mountain Knot City. Check the details on the delivery terminal. Okay. Uh, antimatter bomb delivery. What do we need one of those for? If the theory that tar jets are somehow connected to the beach is correct, then Mountain Knot City may very well be in danger of being consumed by the other side. That is, is a why long the delivery. Close off the ones in that region before it's too late. However, if we were to use an antimatter bomb, our scientists think it might be enough to sever the connection. They used to research antimatter propulsion technology here before the first expedition. Using antimatter sequestered by the beach, believe it or not. Those experiments were eventually suspended. The researchers never came close to developing anything workable, and the dangers were deemed far too great. When Bridges One arrived, they assumed control of their facilities and antimatter stores. To minimize the risk of a catastrophic annihilation, the antimatter was partitioned using special magnetic traps. We repurposed those traps to make the bomb. Once the magnetic field is removed, the antimatter comes into contact with the casing and triggers a void out. Now, it goes without saying, but if one of these things goes off en route, we'll have a catastrophe on our hands. Mm. And to make matters worse, the traps weren't designed to be transported. Sure, the container carrying the bomb has a built-in stabilizer, but it's not something you want to tip over or drop. If those magnets fail, you're gone, along with everything else for miles around. So yeah, you could call this a dangerous delivery, but I can't think of anyone better equipped to handle it. Get it done, Sam. We're counting on you. Get it done. You deliver the bomb. Okay. Excuse me. I don't think we're going to get any... That firearm can be loaded with thematic rounds. It's fitted with a dot sight as well. Should improve your aim. I don't think we're going to get any um, guys on this mission. Uh, as in any enemies. I could be wrong. We need new, new boots. <laughs> new boots. Uh, should we go for a speed or power? Maybe power. Okay. And we're not going to take a vehicle. Sam. The case for that antimatter bomb was not designed for long distance transport. No shit. The magnetic traps that keep the antimatter sequestered are delicate. A powerful impact, reckless drive, 
Any abnormalities detected within the case should trigger an alarm. Hmm. If it goes off, you're doing it wrong. I think and if the bomb goes off, we'll have a disaster on our hands. If it goes off, you're the doing it wrong. Can't come back from. Okay. Let's just load everything up. Uh, we won't need a PCC. Uh, we'll probably need container res respair, repair. Um, let's take the rifle. Let's ditch one of the stun bombs. We don't need the PCC. Can we put that on our tool thingy tool rack? There we go. Uh, let's equip those. And ditch those. Okay, let's go. Let's go with this bomb. Bomb. Order of time. Hmm. Bomb. All right, let's plan this pretty well. I basically want to follow this route. Uh, until we get to the foundation and then I want to go up the river a bit maybe uh, is there anything special to drink in the UK that is only sold around Christmas um hmm it's a good question I mean, we do, I mean, there is probably a lot of uh, mulled wine. There you go. I was going to say, there's probably a lot of alcohol stuff that I'm not really aware of. Um, actually, let's remove that. Uh, actually, let's remove that one as well. Yeah, we got a, we got we have a lot of mold stuff in the UK. Uh eggnog as well. Um There's also like um you get a lot of like pumpkin spiced stuff in coffee shops. That's more of a winter thing. Than a Christmas thing. But I guess it's the same thing really, isn't it? Winter and Christmas. I've not really thought much of it, to be fair. Pumpkin spice lattes and stuff. It is what it is. Can we get in one of these? No. That's a shame. Oh, we, we have zero uh, time limit on this one, so let's take it easy. We are carrying a bomb. Weapons restrictions lifted. Uh, we have a lot of food. That's uh, sold at Christmas time only. Like, um, mince pies. Um, a lot of stuff with stuffing. In Sweden, we have a soda that Coca Cola tried to buy the recipe of, but they couldn't get it. During Christmas, the sales go down by at least 50%. What's the soda called? And does it taste Christmassy? Uh, Coca-Cola tries to market their drink as like a, a, a Christmas thing, but 
Come on, let's get this done. It never really works out that way. To me personally, anyway. Because they have that advert, don't they, for Christmas time. Julmust. It tastes very crispy. Not like Coca-Cola pictures. Huh. I wonder if we could get some of that here. Julmust. Let me have a look. Is am I saying that right? Julmust. 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 Oh, you can. Ooh. Pretty correct. Oh, cool. What's it got in it? Ingredients. Carbonated water, sugar, coloring, natural hops, and malt aroma from barley. Acidity regulator, citric acid, spice extracts, flavorings, and preservatives. You know, I might get some of that. Uh, it looks pretty cool. Uh, you can, but I think it's an import. You know what I mean? Like, uh, you can buy it from Sweden to ship here. It's not like from a, from a UK s store. <laughs> Juniper berries. I'm actually quite surprised that um, Coca-Cola didn't get that recipe. They buy everything else that they want, don't they? I suppose most companies would want to kind of get in on the Christmas deal. fairly special I think I'm gonna get some all right ghost at the end of Christmas you're tired of drinking it I wonder if it tastes a bit like um uh we have a drink here in the UK called dandelion and burdock it's kind of a speciality thing never liked it personally Tastes too much like flowers. Oh, good. We're okay. Might be because of the dandelion. Yeah, well, it's the only thing I could think of when I drink that. Is that it is made of flowers. Made with flowers. But it strikes me as the uh, the kind of thing that would be unique to the UK. Like, um, what's that thing called the Americans have? Cream soda. And uh, iron brew for the S Scottish people among us. You should have more faith in yourself. Is he trying to make me run more? You should have some more faith in yourself. You've got a bomb, dude. I'm not running. This land does look pretty flat. No cream soda in the UK. We do have cream soda in the UK, but I think it's an American thing, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Like, um, it's not very English. I will show you, Fair by. Don't worry. Uh-oh. 